Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, it's uh, Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are home and safe and enjoying each other's company. And um, if you're on your own, I just want to say hi. I am with you in spirit and I hope that you are feeling loved. Okay, um, I'm just going to do a quick flip through. I got this really cool book and it is a great Pyrenees coloring book. You all know how I am about my great Pyrenees. And, um, oh, before I get started on the book, you guys, this candle. Okay, let me see if I can show it to you without setting my house on fire. Warm leaves. Oh, it is so delicious. Please go get one. They're under $10. Actually, they're under $5. Um, I think it was like $4.75. Anyway, uh, Walgreens has them, and they are so delicious. Um, okay, back to the book. Um, I promised myself last year that I was really going to start learning how to draw dogs. And then I found out that drawing Great Pyrenees is the hardest creature on the planet, apparently, to do. But I found a grayscale book because, you know, I'm like addicted to grayscale now. And I wanted to show it to you because it has something a little unusual than your typical coloring book. Um... A lot of these are on landscapes, so I'm going to try to... Let me move my candle over so I don't torch the poor buck. It has... Are you ready? It has a grayscale in four different ways. You have sort of an abstract grayscale. And then you have, for someone who might be a little more advanced... Um, where you have a lot more creative, uh, creative uh, freedom to, to add your own tones and things into it. And another print. So they give you four different prints of each dog. I love that one. Um, so that you can practice along the way. So this is actually... My art class. This book is my art class, and this book was under twenty dollars. Um, look at how beautiful. If you guys like to draw dogs, and you know what, you don't really have to do it as a great Pyrenees. If that doesn't look like Fiona, I, I think somebody stole a picture of my dog and and made that because it looks so much like her. Anyway, um, do you see all the different green green kind of uh? What is it called? A grainality, a grain tone. Well, the grainiciousness of it all is just delicious. And I love the images. And if you have a golden retriever, you can make them gold. And you can, um, you know, you really, you really have the freedom to do anything you want with it. But for me, I'm a great pretty girl, so you know how it is. This is from the cover picture. Look at how beautiful. And let me tell you, for me, doing Great Pyrenees eyes are so hard. I mean, to really capture the um, the amber and the yellow and the gold and the dark. And, you know, our, our do Great Pyrenees can have 8 million different colors in their eyes. Um, and then this one with all the sheep. Is that not cute? I know. It doesn't look like baby George. It really does. Because George has more of a square head. And feel, uh, speaking of George, there he goes. Barking his head off. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share this book with you. It has so many opportunities to, um, to practice. And I actually fell in love with that image like immediately. And I'll show you what I'm doing with it. Um, uh, this one I started on. And because Fiona has little gold and amber undertones in her hair, we're, we're, we're going in that direction. Um, but you can go abstract. I mean, you could paint a purple or a pink dog if you wanted to. The thing is, is I love the difference and the variety 
this one I actually started working on a little bit too. I uh, wanted to make him almost like a badger. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I had to share this with you. And look, 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 that baby. I know. I just, I mean, look at the beautiful expression. Can you get enough of that? I mean, if you're a dog girl, especially, oh, cat. <laughs> Cat, cat will freak over this book. Um, anyway, uh, it's on Amazon, and I cannot yell about it enough. The paper quality, it's got a couple of sheets here for, you know, scratching and testing and that kind of thing. The paper quality is not my favorite. Um, it's a little bit, you know, it's it'd be great for pencils. I do not think it would take alcohol markers or watercolor very well because obviously it's going to soak through. But I plan to do a lot of these on, um, uh, you know, doing a PDF and then and then putting them on cardstock because I like working on cardstock better. And then, of course, what we're working on now, you know, <laughs> hi Emily, <laughs> Emily, oh big announcement just in case you haven't heard from everybody on the planet emily is having a really big big fun live stream on december 1st um please go to emily illustrator and you'll find all the details there she is gonna have joanna bashford um as a guest and we don't know what's happening i don't know if joanna's gonna sing or dance or or color or I don't know what she's doing, but she's going to be there, and that should be enough for us. Um, I love Emily. I just, uh, and I love Joanna Bashford. I cut my coloring teeth on her. Her and Jennifer Zimmerman were my favorites. Um, a lot of you probably have this book, and if you don't, what is wrong with you? Don't be a Grinch. Go get it immediately. It is... Uh, Eleven dollars of hours. I mean, you hear that paper? Yeah, we got pop. Beautiful, thick cardstock paper. Images to die for. This just makes me dizzy. I'm. <laughs> I know I'm gonna do it, but in the meantime. Um, and this is what Emily is working on right now on her live stream. I cheated and did the background first because when something is so busy for me, I like to start with the background and then work my way into the different little neighborhoods. But I mean, I know a polar bear. Oh, I wish you'd do two polar bears together because then I could do George and Fiona. Um, but I just wanted to uh, give you a little heads up. Yes, started working on her. Oh, look, by the way, thank you. Thank you, Sammy and M and and everybody who's been teaching us gold classes because I'm catching on. And uh, anyway, so that is pretty much what's going on here. Um, these are my two projects, you know, that, that I'll probably, and I'll probably wind up with uh, at least one or two of the um, Ruth Sanderson books, and which, by the way, I'll show you these guys. Um, Tanya and I were talking about them earlier, and um, these are fabulous, fabulous books. I mean, look at the detail. Look, I see I tried doing it with a little alcohol marker, but you know what happens, right? Anyway, beautiful, 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 soft images and grayscale. So they do all the shading for you. And um, you know what? I, the way Emily loves Joanna Bashford, I love Ruth Sanderson. She really needs to get a restraining order against me because I swear to God, I, I know I'm going to wind up on her doorstep someday. I just adore her so much. Look at the cute little mouse, Mary. There's a little mousy mouse just for you to color. And, um, yeah. Anyway, so there's that one. And then there's also 
this guy. So there's two uh, Christmas books. And no, they do not have duplicates. I mean, but look how cute, right? Some of them I'm, I'm working on and I haven't totally completed yet. Um, last year, I was buried alive of these things. I couldn't get enough of them. They just, I mean, look at how happy and fun. Now, I don't think you can see this because of the the camera, but it has kind of like a little glittery stickle thing um, on the snow people. And um, just, just don't ask about that. Uh, we had a little George, George went into colors, so he kind of tore the back a little bit. Anyway, um, so uh, let's get in the season, okay? I'm almost finished decorating the house. So once I get done with the house, it's just going to be playtime and color and chill out this season. I am not stressing out, and I don't want you to stress out either. I want everybody to have uh, fun and calm and peace and safety. And let's just, let's get through this pandemic together, okay? I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.